<laughs> so it's a game you're interested in. <laughs> I found something for you to dote on. All right, what's up, my friends? Let's get lucky. Ten new brews, outlaws of Thunder Junction. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Miss any brews? Guess what? They're on YouTube. And the more you support the YouTube, the more content you get. It's as simple as that. Hit the buttons, leave a comment, do the things. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Deck number six of ten is a wild one. Built around make your own luck. This is a five mana sorcery. Look at the top three cards of your library. You may exile one of them and plot it. What are you plotting, creeper? What does that mean? You put it to the side. You can play it for free on any future turn. Whenever you can play a sorcery. All right. So it's basically just draw three and play one for free on your next turn. That's pretty good, honestly. So we have jam-packed our deck full of big idiots. And our other big idiot player is Nexus of Becoming. This is a six mana artifact. But you have combat on your turn, draw a card. So it's really, really cool because like it's a cheaty kind of card, but also gives you card advantage too. Then you may exile an artifact or creature card from your hand. If you do make a token, it's a copy of it, except it's a 3-3 golem in addition to other types. So this is a big one uh, because... This can put into play a Portal of Phyrexia as a 3-3 flyer, which is insane. Uh, you can put in a 3-fold Thunderhulk. It'll be a 3-3 with 3 plus and plus 1 counters on it, uh, which is kind of awesome. You'll, you'll get 6 tokens, which is pretty fun as well. Uh, and we got Titan of Industry. We got a new one here in Bonnie Paul Clear Cutter, uh, which is a pretty cool one that ETBs and makes a huge Ox token. And it's just like a 2 6 sixes for 6 mana, which is pretty insane. Can draw cards and, uh, and put lands into play also. Titan of Industry. And then Colossus Sky Turtle is kind of doing double duty here, right? This is a uh, a serviceable bounce spell uh, that can also be a decent hit off Make Your Own Luck uh, as a big idiot as well. So otherwise, uh, we got to keep our big idiot density really, really high. We have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15. We have 17 big hits, basically. So almost a third of our deck. So we're very, very close to Make Your Own Luck in theory, you know, always hitting a good thing. It's not actually how math works, but um, I was hitting another maker unlocks also good. So how are you getting there? We're just going to ramp. Real simple. Uh, very little interaction. Just going to go ramp and go big. Uh, we got Scrap Gorger and Lone Speaker are our two mana dorks. We also can do the adventure side of Kellen uh, to ramp as well, which is nice. And then we have Ancient Cornucopia, a card people, people are poo-pooing on for Commander. Listen, it's a ramp spell that gains life. That's fine. That's exactly what we're looking for. And then we have... Troyan Gutsy Explorer, this is a 1-3 three for 3. This taps for 2 mana, but only for 5 drops or more. So, like, this curves right into a turn 4 Nexus, which is kind of awesome, actually. Uh, so, that's free as well. So, um, that's the deck. We got lands in here, got some cool lands and stuff. But, yeah, deck looks pretty fun. We're going to go big and see what we can do and uh, try and get all the way there. So, let's get right into the games brought to you by Anthros. Um, new sponsor of mine, super pleased. Uh, absolutely adore the chair. And check this out, this is a big one. Uh, this game yesterday, I had to add it to my chair. I'm getting a game queued up here. Oh, wrong button. Shit, hold on. Um, hold on. Sorry, Ollie. Nope, hold on. Shit. So as I was saying, right? I got my fancy, ready for this? This is awesome. Let's go big. My new back! How freaking cool is that, right? Just part of a chair. It's not like a sticker or something like that. It's just literally just, it's built into a chair now. So I got a new black for it. Super, super cool. Phenomenal company. Uh, check them out, Anthros. They're really, really awesome. Also, the quality's insane. Take care of yourself. Take care of your body. And um, that's it. That's what we got. All right. Let's play some games. We got Power Dragon up. We got Chat hanging out. Ten new brews going. And uh, hands great. We got some ramp and some big things. Easy game. Uh, Odawar. I kind of want to just keep a land here, honestly. To make sure we make our land drops. Let's keep this. Keep this thing and take up. Chat wants Bramble over Loam Speaker. I don't think Bramble's, like, that exciting. And, like, I think the third top is pretty important, too. We got Cliffs and we got Forsaken Miner. Sure. Because right now, my Gorger can block this and the 2-2 two -two can't, you know? So, Gorger it is. Alright, we got... Rack those crimes here. This is why I like why I kept those lands, folks. You gotta cash spells, you know, it's important. So here's our ancient cornucopia. Still a piece of folks are saying they don't like this card. Listen, whatever. It's a mana rock. Gain some life, that's this thing. Vile Smasher, more crimes happening. I'd be lying if I did my men committing crimes. Cold Consecrate, more crimes happening. 
Uh, unfortunately, we are. Uh, I mean, we're we're ready to go next turn. So like the thing is that like, I wish I had another land in my hand so I could use this Odawara. So we're taking a ton of damage this turn. We're gonna pour next turn though. So we'll see how we can get there. New blood. This is gonna get a counter. Okay. All right. And come on, oh jeez, it's so aggressive. All right, so take a bunch. Is this thing target? This thing target each opponent. So not actually a crime. And then vile smash is gonna stay home. Scared of a creature or something like that too. Cool. Maybe scared of uh. The flat. I don't even know, actually. I don't know. But, all right, we're in, folks. We drove a land anyway, so sure. Next is the Becoming is here. So, move to combat. Draw a card. Put in a portal for Rexia as a 3 3. And do the thing! You got better odds shooting cracks with Satan. Portal for Rexia. Sack three creatures. Your turn. Do it again next turn. Artifacts or creatures. I love this card. I love this card. We're playing Corpses of a Loss later. I think this card's insane. Uh, it's even an outlaw, too. We're playing this card later. I love it. But here come the attacks. Uh, we're just going to block, I think. Like, yeah, we can't afford to... Obviously, we should each die here. So, yeah, we have to block. So, right, sure. So, the question is, can we not die? We need to draw a spell, probably. So obviously, they have a lot of, like, ping damage. That's not a spell, unfortunately. All right. Well, Nexus of Becoming is here. Let's draw. Spell? No. We have our portal, which is great, but, like, I don't want to just die to chip shot damage. Yeah, we're actually just dead. I'm just, I'm not, we have a war, never mind. So, so we, uh, we hedge maze. Another portal. Uh... I think I want to jump this and just, like, try and find a colored spell to gain some life, so... It's been that. Now we have Odawara to bounce the token off of the Corpses of the Lost. And we can block the 2-2. So, but again, they have a lot of chip shot damage with Vile Smasher, and Tiny Bones joins up, and so on and so forth, so... If they descend, is that bad for us? I think it's fine. All right, so Odawar, get out of here. Anyway, I started blast. All right, we need to draw, just draw a spell. I get back a scrap gorger or one of these things. Maybe this guy. Sure, let's get back this guy. Threefold Thunder Hulk. That's a house. So. We get to... We actually can just cast this, but we want to put it into play off this thing and make it a 6-6. Six, six. So, let's just play a land. I would like to just play a colored spell if possible. I just can't draw one, though. So, uh, yeah, we'll just play off. We'll just do this. All right, so here we go. So, play this thing. It's a 6-6. Six, six. Make six tokens. Attack for three. Please don't get me with uh, direct damage. And we say go. That was too close for comfort, my friends. Too close for comfort. Scrap gorgers. So many crimes to commit, right? Jeez. How about committing crimes and violence? Again, the answer is yes. <sighs> Alright, I said I thought it was good, obviously, but we're fine here. We got mana. We got some scries. We're good to go. Keep this. Alright, we draw a Nexus. Awesome. A portal. Already have one of those. Dump that one. Bad out of the scry land, gotta keep, right? Double copper line gorge. Ugh. I mean, this card just kills so fast. This card is. This card's a problem. Alright. So spear. Oh my god. Yeah, this is uh. Yeah. 
I mean, uh, yeah. That's pretty dead. We draw land. He can't even draw land. All right, well, we are probably dead anyway. We should draw land anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, whatever. All right. That'd be fast, at least. Code breaker. Yeah. What were they thinking with this card? What in the world were they thinking? This is like a modern draw, you know? Like, all right, yep, turn four kill. I could have blocked, obviously, but sure. That's fine, I suppose. <laughs> Laser's fast. All right, so I'm good. Hand's good, keep. Gonna make our own luck here. Amazing. Vine stalk, cool. Yeah, just turn, uh, turn for luck. That's what we're going for. What is the most brainless archetype? There is no brainless archetype because magic is freaking hard. <laughs> like, all right, so you got scrap gorger. Next turn, loam speaker, almost a guaranteed luck, barring counter spells. Obviously, is our opponent also making luck? What's going on here? Ah, uh, is this a it's a showdown? Mirror match? Draw Nexus too. Alright, now we have Nexus in a portal, so now that's insane, so. This feels like more of a Nexus becoming deck than a than a make your own luck deck, honestly. Free Strider Lookout. I'm playing this card later and I'm pumped about it. I think this card is awesome. Uh, I love this card. Big fan. Alright, so they have two mana up. Never mind. I, I guess. But someone committed a crime. I, I guess Cogwork Wrestler does commit crimes. That is a, a thing that it does. All right, sure. And it makes sense, obviously, to draw a crime, but it just looks weird. All right, but what's uh? Here we go. All right, folks. I have to do it. No sneaky reach here. in time right that's my fault boom portal it's all gone sorry see you later and uh that all she wrote we're gonna keep going here portal to phyrexia just flying around just flapping its little wings oh touche doppelgang my portal to phyrexia that is that's cool i like that all right we're gonna go uh Let's go to combat here first. Let's Thunderhulk. Now this is pod racing. Yeah, I agree. All right. And then uh, no attacks. And let's fire up and make your own luck. And look at, I guess a Lone Speaker. It's not very good, but sure. I mean, we draw creature cards, whatever. It's fine. So they get to return a lookout, which is fine. Kind of a miss. This has been a Brambles to be hit. You can't play it for... Oh, wait. Can you... Can you... You can plot this thing. Plot a Brambles and then play the backside. Is that how, is that how it works? Judge! Whoops. Whoopsie. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Well, you got me. Frill back my Nexus. Rude. Uh, all right. We'll just play a new Nexus, I guess. Right? So we'll go... Uh... Land Nexus. Let's go to combat. And Titan of Industries here. The powerful Titan. We're gonna disenchant and probably shield counter. I mean uh four four. Could shield the uh the Thunder Hulk. I just block it though, right? Yeah, never mind. Make it 4-4. Four, four. Make it 4-4. Four, four. Destroy this. Little baby titan. Still still good though. Let's tag with everything. Six more tokens. Best Adeline of all time, right? Let's deal a bunch of damage. Let's play this long speaker, I guess, and just say go. Do our thing. Sneaky reach. Can you you can't plot virtue of strength. This is a 
the card itself costs seven, so. Here's an Oko the Ringleader. Draw two, discard two, because no crimes have been committed this turn. Oko, combat, make the Oko into a thingy, and then say go, sure. Uh, Alright, let's maze and surveil, and find a land. Bin that. Let's draw. I think I should make a land into a creature. Actually, I have Vinestalk here, too. Um, let's just go to combat, yeah. Combat. Draw. Damn, man. We're all the boom booms, huh? So I can make this into a 3-3? Three, three? That's still pretty good, though, right? Sure, let's do this. Alright, fire us up. Why did Tap the Lump Speak? Whatever. Alright, fire us up. Move to combat. Attack with everything. This is going to make one of these into a 3-3. Three, three. And uh, there you go. There's all my stuff. I got lots of stuffs and things. After a lot of lands, yeah. I mean, we're obviously a ramp deck, but... POW! 2 and 1. Take it. Move on, move it on, move it on. Crokey's time! Alright, we got a pretty good hand. We can keep this. Got some boom booms. This hand really wants to draw that artifact again. That artifact's been great. We're gonna bin make your own luck here, because we need to draw lands. So. Alright, Swamp, Tiny Bones joins up. That sucks. Uh, Alright, let's dump the Titan. Any deck I grab for the PT? Even if it, if, I, if it did, I couldn't tell you about it, so. Work with the team as usual, so. Alright, so we got an Elias, a little core. A little, little drain action here. Need to draw some land. That's pretty good. Alright, so let's fire up the maze. Uh, I'm keeping the land on top. You should, you should draw lands, so I want to guarantee a land if uh, if this thing gets killed, so I can cast the thing on five. Love to cast it on four, obviously, but PT is in two weeks, three weeks, two weeks, and it's standard and draft. So I leave in about seven days, and I'm going to command fest Dallas first. They mill over my thing. That works too, I guess. Whatever, sure. I suppose this thing makes the scries not very good. Tiny Bones joins up number two. Now, this is interesting. I think I want to keep the portal in my hand, so when I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I find the artifact, I can play the portal for free. Yeah, let's do this. All right, it's untap. All right, folks, we got a big one here. We're going to make our own luck. Hope it's good. Exile card. Survey says... Colossal Sky Turtle. Sure, that's why it's in the deck, right? It's a bounce spell. It's also a, uh, a not a bad hit, so... We got a Sky Turtle, not ideal, but still reasonable. You know, a 6-5 Ward 2 flying is okay enough. Another Tiny Bones joins up. Is hard casting a portal like a possible thing to do? Maybe. Let's start uh, this forest. Alright, so they're a little land screwed. We're a lot of things going on here. Let's cast this bad boy. Play Field of Ruin. Play Scrap Gorger. And I guess just say go. I mean, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're kind of close to casting it. Alright, there's land three. Crokey's is online now. We got our Sky Turtle hanging out. Here comes the Pilgrim. Just gotta take it. And a Glissa Sun Slayer. Interesting. So, gotta watch chip shot damage here, of course. And take the one. They mill over a Loam Speaker. And in turn, we're gonna add a mana. We're gonna eat this thing and then just field them. Hit this Plaza of Heroes and see what kind of basics they got going on. Basic check. So, land or spell is passable because, like, we are pretty close to actually casting the, port the, the portal, so. Got some big draws here, too. That's not one of them. Um, 
The old screw versus flood. Only difference is I have a nine drop in my hand, so I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna block. Honestly, just stay alive and cast this thing next turn. Yeah, here's a Gix. Sure, this thing has death touch too, right? These chip shots add up. This card's insane. This card's totally insane. Call it a sleeper. In my set review. Maybe I should have called it a uh, a best in show. Honestly. All right, so they're gonna get to keep one thing. This is an enchantment too, we just have to block it. So, all right, block this. Maybe have to choose one, sure. All right, give me this, make a Mirix. All right, folks, Portal to Phyrexia. Can we cross the finish line is the question. I can't block the core because I will, uh, the portal won't go off. Well, I guess I'm, I'm going to lose damage to this thing too. I forgot this had, this had an extra ability too. Stop with the tiny bones. No, it's my land. I needed that. Now I can't cast the portal anymore. No. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Magic's a stupid game. It's a stupid, stupid game. All right. Oh, we might have just died anyway because the Elias would have killed us with the uh, the triggers between the Elias triggers and the Tiny Bones triggers. We might have still just died, but oh, that's frustrating. All right, I guess we're dead. Is that all four Tiny Bones? Yep, all four Tiny Bones. And Adeline. Ugh. All right. Yeah, we're dead. Ah, uh, that's a tough one. That's a tough loss, folks. Mill over another untapped land, too. So now we have to block or we just die. We're dead anyway, honestly. Because we can't even portal anymore because these things all live. Yeah, we're just dead. All right. Tough game. Uh, screw beats flood every time, folks. I don't know what to tell you. Beats. It sucks, too, because we might have done better that game if we hadn't had the portal in our hand. I would have just traded off the, the oil guy for the Elias, like, two turns earlier. That would have been much better for us, I think, uh, and would give us more time. But obviously, with the portal in our hand, we, like, why I want to do it, so... What are you going to do? All right, keep his damage hands fine. Going to maze it up. There's our gutsy explorer. I'm in for that. All right, we got a hedge mage mirror. All right, one tail of a suspect, please. This is where you belong. Outlaw. Alright. Gets the explorer. Alright. Make your own luck. We got Nexus, though, so we're good. We don't even need that. We have Nexus plus a Titan, which is pretty good. I think Nexus plus Titan is better than just a random make your own luck, so. Invasion at Ixalan. I'm gonna take a little look on the battle here. I'm gonna find something cool. John Lice Games will also be a Command Fest uh, Dallas. Vault Born Tyrant, sure. Right, well, it is next to becoming time, folks. And uh, draw or uh, draw a card, exile. Let's Titan probably. Just make a uh, make a four four. Uh, make a four four, and we'll shield up on the four four. Play Vine Stock and just say go. Texas of Becoming. Here's an Invasion Zendikar. Yeah, I think we're good here. We can, in theory, attack for. Um, I draw land, actually, but this is still fine. Bonnie Ball, clear cutters here. Um, we can cast this, or we can use the Nexus to play it for free. Let's see what the Nexus has for us. Yeah, sure. Let's play some free. Bottom ball. Make our our oxen token, and then we can cornucopia and make your own lock. It's cool. All right, yes, yeah, jam. Look at these. 
Whenever you attack, you put a land card in. Awesome. This card, this card, I think this card's really, really good. Uh, very, very sneaky good card. All right, Cornucopia. Make your own luck. Gain two life. F find a Sky Turtle again, which is fine, you know. Draw two. Play a maze. Uh, dump the vine stock. We got a 7-7 seven, seven now. Saddle up, partner. Vaultborn Tyrant. 6-6 six, six, Trample. Never this or creature... Oh my god, it's Portal of Phyrexia time. Oh! Didn't even think about it. That thing's back, sure. Uh, draw off Nexus. How about a 3-3 Scrap Gorger? That's cool. And uh, I guess our attacks aren't even great here because of a stupid 6-6, uh, six, six, but... I don't know if that was right. I was probably wrong, honestly, but whatever. Uh, draw up Leyland. Wait. Is land cards in the battlefield, too? You ain't worth spit. Don't, don't say that to me. I have feelings. I should put, I, I didn't put the lands first, either. Uh, whatever. All right, we're good here, folks. Gain some life. And uh, this is a clue. We got a cornucopia. Yeah, whatever, sure. There you go. There's all my stuff. Those are all my toys. They're all on the table. They're all out of the toy box. What do you got for me? Land Doppelgang would be powerful. Land Doppelgang would probably do it, actually, to be two portals. Nope, just a Bonnie Paul of their own. Old Bonnie. Pretty cool Vaultborn Tyrant, obviously. But... I get to to portal back their uh, their tyrant. Gold vein hydra. Okay, battles for days. All right, so portal back that guy. Gain some life. Draw a card. It's a scrap gorger. It's a yeah, my coast. Play a land. We have two vine stalks here. Just go full control and see what the uh, the Nexus does for us. These, okay. Uh, let's crew one of these. Pretty sure I'm just getting in. I don't even gotta think about it, honestly. One of these. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, sure. One of these. Oil counter. Alright. Uh, I should tap this thing. That's stupid. Whatever. Uh, combat. You, 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 you. Make... Oh, this thing shrinks their stuff too? Vine stalk's insane. That's awesome. I don't even know it did that. Uh, put a land in play, surveil, bin this. That's a crime, folks. Alright, make some blocks. Um I haven't ever played Vine Stalk, I don't think. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. That was a cool win. So in the Rampy Mirror, we do a pretty good job, right? We're just kind of just doing stuff. And, uh, all right. We'll take it. Three and two. The Brewers 5-0. All right. So, uh, the Brewers 3-2. And honestly, like, pretty impressed with, uh, with this next to becoming card. Like, that's just, like, a pretty good card. The fact that it draws cards, too, is, as well as cheating is really, really good. Same way the Make Your Unlock. Both these cards are cards that kind of like cheat things into play, uh, but they also just draw cards and make card advantage too. So when things aren't going right, you're just drawing more cards and doing more things, you know? Um, deck was cool. Pretty fun one. Not going to lie, honestly. So, more to come on stream. YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Come, blah, 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 blah. Oh, whoops. Like, comment, subscribe. Brew number seven is coming up.